السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میں پیس بی اپ آن آل آف یو مائی فیلو لرنرس پروفیشنلز لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹل مین ریسنٹلی آئی واز جسٹ ہیونگ اے چیٹ وتھ ون آف مائی کلیگس اینڈ وی وار جسٹ ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ہاؤ ٹو میک میٹنگز ان ہز کمپنی افیکٹ سو آئی فیلٹ لائک آئی کوڈ کریٹ اے یوٹیوب ویڈیو بیسڈ آن دیٹ کنسیپٹ اسپیشلی ٹو ہیلپ اینی ون یو نو ہو ڈزنٹ ریئلی کم فرام اے ویری اسٹرکٹ اکیڈمک کو پروفیشنل بیک گراؤنڈ کارپوریٹ بیک گراؤنڈ ہو آر لوکنگ ٹو میک دیئر میٹنگز مور افیکٹیو Sure, you will find some tips here in this meeting, uh, sorry, in this video, very, very useful. Uh, the first point that I have to share with you is you can start by appointing a meeting leader, a leader for the meeting. There are various names that we use to call this, this individual, but uh, you can just call him a meeting leader or a meeting lead. Uh, and the responsibility is to manage the meetings Uh, and to record the meetings and you usually see in large corporates you break this role down where the management is given to one person and the recording of the meeting minutes is given to another person but i usually find it to be very effective and the meeting manager the meeting leader can actually be more um, accountable can be a better leader can understand what's going on in the meeting and can keep a track of it uh, when Uh, the meeting leader is responsible for both of these activities later on you know if the meetings are much larger if you become a large corporate you can look at breaking the role down uh, however uh, one thing that i want to note is if you appoint a meeting leader at least give them uh, several meetings do not change the meeting leader every you know every meeting you know don't appoint a different leader give them at least you know two three months to settle down into the role and then every quarter maybe you can change if it's a routine meeting every quarter or every by year by annual term you can consider changing the meeting leader uh, the second point i have to share is please you can consider having a meeting agenda for every meeting and this is something that is very useful you know record keeping recording is a very u- useful tool in the world and uh, the meeting agenda is basically an initial plan a basic plan which is very specific and very detailed in terms of you know 5 minutes this 5 minutes this 10 minutes this and you write the details of who is going to be speaking during that time period uh, what is the basic uh, topic uh, that is going to be discussed and the meeting agenda which leads to the third point the meeting agenda should be shared with all the participants with the clear instruction you know sort of like a manual about their contribution to the meeting so they can be prepared you know, if i am a participant to the meeting and you know the day before the meeting i get a get the communication of the meeting agenda and this is this is something that can be done by the meeting leader uh, him or herself uh, then i know that at 9:35 i have a 5 minute piece to present on these particular areas which means i can prepare for it i can you know give my best shot getting a chance getting an opportunity to speak for 5 minutes in a company is a huge deal and uh, you can do a lot with 5 minutes so if you can actually be better prepared rather than you know just groping in the dark not knowing when who's going to when or who is going to ask what type of question from you uh, it's f- much better if we can be prepared for a meeting and this actually helps all the participants they can be prepared in terms of the presentation in terms of the topics they have to talk about in terms of the time duration in terms of the specific area they need to address because in different meeting maybe there's a person who is in charge of a certain scope of your company and that is a wide scope but in different meetings within that scope you might have different interests different questions so if you can communicate that beforehand uh, through the meeting agenda in a formal manner which ultimately will be embedded as a process you know as a standard operating procedure in your company can be greatly helpful a lot of great companies have very effective meetings um the next is maintain the meeting minutes or summary points or actions and this is something that can connect with the recording of the meeting minutes but essentially i'm just talking about a responsibility and an action plan summary uh, that is uh, outlining who is in charge of what with the maybe deadlines and maybe you know there is a dependency for that person to deliver maybe some person says i can do this so my deadline is 10th of uh, november to sure. but however i need this from that person so you can just add a additional note and why when you communicate it see share the meeting minutes uh, or the action summary at the end of the meeting when you communicate it to everyone everyone knows that they have a role to play everyone is accountable everyone is more responsible and that really makes your company more effective uh, ultimately 
Uh, you can also really just uh, take into heart in terms of the value system you have in your company by treating everyone in the meeting with equal amounts of respect and importance. You know, every single person, whether they are a junior tier member, mid tier member, senior tier member, every human being is an important person. So if you can really just build that aura, build that ambience of equality, respectfulness and importance in the meeting, uh, people will actually find the meeting to be a pleasant experience, an effective one. You know, they'll talk about it later. They'll learn a lot from it. They'll take much of their life from it. They'll, it'll make their career better. It'll make them better employees uh, in, in terms of you know, how they, the outlook they have on your company, on the way you lead the company. Uh, and you know, just to touch on this, the meeting leader does not have to be the owner of the business or a director. Meeting leader can be a general employee in your company and this is how you dis disseminate uh, and delegate responsibility. This is how you become a better leader, effective leader. You can consider all of this. Ultimately, uh, something that I personally, after you know, my um, experience with corporates, uh, one thing that makes meetings very exhaustive and you know, a very unpleasant experience is meetings that drag on and on and on. And you know, sometimes some people Maybe a director, maybe someone, you know, just gets into a monologue that is way too long. Like some of my YouTube videos where I talk a little extra and, you know, people lose interest. That same thing happens in meetings, especially when the same idea is being repeated in multiple ways by the multiple, by, by the same person. So keep your meetings short and organized. You don't have to, even if you can finish a one hour meeting in 45 minutes, that's what you call an effective meeting rather than finishing a one hour, supposedly one hour meeting in, you know, one and a half hours or two hours or three hours, just thinking that time is something that you own. But it's actually better if you are the company owner, it's actually better to finish the meeting faster, quicker, get more things done to communicate to your employees that you're a serious person, you know, that you take this, you take time, especially time, which is your most valuable resource. I'm telling you, undoubtedly, I've talked about it plenty of times, that you take time and time management very very seriously so at one point it's it won't be easy to get to that point you know but if you can really get to that point if you can build that sort of culture in your company where meetings are very precise very specific very detailed very well organized very well led uh, you have a very a good entry point to making your company a great organization um, and please you know especially to certain business leaders who like to talk who like to speak uh, you know, my opinion about speaking is, is very uh, sort of, you know, careful and I always caution people to talk about their talking, about how they talk, what they talk about, or how long they talk. And even here, I want to reiterate, especially if you're, you know, the meeting convener or you're the leader of the business or you're the director, uh, do not get into lengthy uh, monologues, you know, where you just talk and rant and rant for hours and hours. Uh, do not get into that. I've seen plenty of business leaders who have good skills but uh, have you know uh, built a reputation for these kind of actions and ultimately you know the respect around them just crumbles in the long term so do not let that happen um, we know some of the best leaders in the world are men with few words they are coming out of their mouth so think about these things and i'm sure you will make your meetings very effective and ultimately your organization one of the most effective organizations in the world however small medium or large it may be. All the very best and uh, may your meetings be very progressive, uh, very productive. Assalamu alaikum. I leave you with greetings of peace. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.